So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to
Greetings. Still working on some streaming issues, guys. Some what issues? Uh, getting the the meeting to stream. Oh, okay.
Any update, Ellen? We're working on it. What seems to be the problem? Uh, that's what we're trying to figure out. <laughs> oh. the problem is. Anybody know any jokes and want to sing a song? Guess not. Hmm? I think most of the people on here would drive everyone else off of the Zoom conference if they started singing. Uh, speak for yourself, sir. <laughs> Uh, today happens to be my birthday, so I shouldn't even be here, but uh, <laughs> somebody should have brought a cake or a virtual cake. Happy birthday, Greg. Happy oh, birthday. Yeah, that was, uh, I can I wear my special birthday glasses for you if you can see them. <laughs> Happy birthday. You going to tell us which birthday it is? Uh, yeah, sadly, it's my last year in my 60s. Oh, don't feel too bad. You're still just a kid then. Well, that's why I like having you on the commission, Jeff. I feel so young. <laughs> that, that, that's why I go to church. Uh huh. If I go to church, I'm like the young buck there. I'll tell you, I don't keep know what it. that says about churches. <laughs> you say useful thinking as long as you can. Well, I think working helps, but I'm retiring in May of 22, so that's enough. I'm still planning to retire before I'm 90. Well, <laughs> as soon as I'm 70, I'm stopping. Happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you. All right, we can get started. We will. We are unable to stream, but we will we'll make up for it. Okay, were, were we expecting anybody else, Ellen? Um... I don't think so. Nope. So we don't. Good. We don't think Councilman Nelson is going to be able to join us, right? Uh, I I didn't hear from him what, one way or the other. Oh, okay. Can I? Is there anyone else from the commission missing? Uh, Regina's here. Right. You're here, right, Regina? The streaming link. We couldn't get it to work. I see her name. Yes, everything's good. Oh, okay. <laughs> cool. I think Ellen's having a discussion about something. I did notice that the Chautauqua County Town Hall also had problems streaming. Um, so I don't know if maybe it's a system issue and not related to your network. Yeah, I don't know. I had a problem last night at the council meeting. Beginning. Are we free to get going, Ellen, or were you discussing it with somebody? Good to go. Oh, okay.
Thank you. So I'd like to call uh, the meeting of the City Planning Commission to order. It looks like we have the one thing on our agenda, um, which is the uh, small cell infrastructure ordinance. And I know that uh, Mike had uh, sent some uh, rather detailed technical questions to Ellen and myself. And then I had a discussion with Ellen because I had some uh, broader concerns overall about the ordinance. Um, oh, there's, there's time, he's popping in, great. So um, is anyone here uh, planning to speak about the ordinance before we go ahead with talking about it within the commission? Yes, Chairman Rabb, if I may. Okay, uh, well, obviously we know you, but as it was, <laughs> There's a couple of people I don't know from outside of the city structure. Are they planning to speak? Do you know, Elliot? Or? Yes, I can introduce them uh, real fast. We've been, since I got here working for the city, we've been working on uh, introducing a small cell type of ordinance. And this was spurred on by the fact that, you know, we had searched out and uh, people had contacted the city looking to install small cell ordinances. And, in college, I was an English major and then a law student, so I'm not the most technical person. So we had the group of myself, Mr. Lehman, Mr. Selstrom, uh, Dave Leathers, Bill Wright from the BPU, as well as Crystal Serdak. And then for some technical information as far as you know, what is small cell, we, uh, we asked Verizon. So we have Chip Lawrence from Verizon's Governmental Affairs Unit. And then Yanal, and I can never pronounce Yanal's last name, is also listening in from the Verizon Engineering Department. Okay, and are uh, Chip, are you now planning to speak on this before we go ahead or? Uh, hi, Commissioner. Yeah, I'd like to say a few words if I, if I may. Okay, uh, Chip, can I just ask you for the record to state your name and residential address, please? Yeah, Chip Lawrence, uh, residential address is 210 Regent Street uh, over on the East Coast in uh, Saratoga Springs, New York. Okay, thank you. Uh, just wanted to thank the, the committee for allowing Verizon to take part in your Zoom meeting here, uh, exchange a, a little dialogue with Alan and Chris and Elliot uh, earlier this week. And I know you now and our wireless network team has been in conversation uh, going back to uh, this past summer um, with what we call an MLA, uh, Master License, excuse me, my dog's yawning, uh, Master License Agreement. Um, which we'd like to see modeled after a workable ordinance. Um, we've had our legal team review it. Um, you know, Ellie, I'm not sure if you've spoken with Megan or not, but um, we did just, you know, just prior to the call, uh, mark up, you know, redline uh, your ordinance. It's very thorough, uh, you know, 30 some odd pages. Um, what we would like to ask today of the committee is just tap the brakes, um, nothing earth shattering that that scares us but there's we personally we don't see as a company an urgency to rush to uh, an ordinance if, if if we could just table it for a little period to continue the conversations um we've started we think we can get to a a very workable document that you know satisfies both the city and you know verizon uh, as well as the industry. We've been doing this for a few years now uh, in New York State. Uh, we tried to get statewide legislation, uh, frankly, to make it easier on industry and um, local municipalities um, rather than going in and explaining with the thousands of municipalities, which is the current process, we thought it might make sense for both parties, uh, industry and municipal, to have a just a framework at the state level that talked about um, pricing and shot clock. Um, there's a lot of misinformation uh, at the state level. Um, a lot of local officials, frankly, were, were fearful of losing control. Uh, and that's not what that, that um, legislation did. And, and that's not what these MLAs do or more the ordinance. We just wanna have a, a you know, reasonable response time, whether it's yes or no for certain locations, uh, respecting the community, the historic districts, the beautification areas, um, and also have a set rate, um, it becomes a uh, negotiation uni by uni. Um, it kind of reminds us of our file stays where, where New York never had a statewide 
uh, video franchise and the community suffer because there's just so many hours and so many dollars uh, industry can spend knocking on every door and it takes years uh, versus statewide. There are currently uh, over 25. I know the majority of the states in the country have statewide uh, legislation. And, and frankly, that's where uh, a majority of deployment is occurring right now. Um, you know, Verizon doesn't have any immediate urgency uh, to deploy small cells. And, and that being said, I don't know what you know other industry carriers are doing, um, but if they're not clamoring at your door to hang these structures, you would just ask respectfully if we could just table this, work through it with industry. Um, there's just some nuances in there. And, and again, I know we only sent it just an hour before uh, today's call. Uh, so perhaps an opportunity to digest it, read through it, meet again uh, over Zoom and kind of work through, uh, you know, a lot of the words in there we've added, like to the extent feasible. Um, it's a new technology. Um, everything isn't just black and white. You can't do this, must do this. In many situations out there, it's, it's protecting us to the extent you can technically, technologically, uh, feasibly do it. Um, and, and the other uh, piece that I noted reading through is the equipment size. Um, depending on a municipality where the language comes from, and it's all encompassing, I think in, in this language here, it's too small for the current uh, sizes of this equipment, the, the node itself, the antenna on top of, of the pole, and then the ancillary equipment, um, the meter sockets. So if we're encompassing all of that into the volume, our, uh, our uh, design uh, components wouldn't fit into the current allotted um, volume. So that's it. Just an ask if we could just table this for a, a, a little bit and continue working, um, you know, with Elliot and Alan and the team, um, you know, offline, and then come back with an ordinance that you know you're satisfied with that we feel is workable, and then um, you know finish up the MLA discussion, uh, which will you know mirror the, the ordinance. So, Chip, did you say that you already had gone through this and marked up the ordinance? Yeah. We, we did, you know, and our legal team um, started carving into it on Friday and uh, they returned it to me uh, earlier today and I sent a copy to Elliot and Alan and Chris. I didn't have everyone's emails, so hoping uh, Elliot and Alan could share it with, with you know, those. Uh, yeah, I, certainly as chairman, I'd like to see that. And Absolutely. I, and then I guess I would send it off to the whole commission. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> because I think everybody would like to say it, or excuse me, see it. Uh, let me just say that, um, you know, I understand that this new technology is not just coming down the road, it's here. And I think if I can speak on behalf of the commission, at least, but my commission members will be happy to tell me when I'm wrong. Uh, you know, I think we would like to encourage this type of technology in the best interest of the further uh, revitalization and growth of the city. Uh, but uh, when this first came up, uh, I had a chance myself to go through the ordinance and I uh, talked with Ellen about it at some length. Uh, from my perspective, um, as chairman of the commission, uh, as a professional planner, uh, city planner, uh, and while I, I don't practice, I teach law, I have a law degree, and I wasn't looking at it so much legally, although a little bit, I was more looking at it from the perspective of a professional city planner and I found some problems with the ordinance uh, and I made some recommendations to Ellen but it seems to me uh, in the best interest of time while I want to hear from everybody else today um, and, and I don't necessarily want to create more work for myself as a chairman but um, I, I would like the opportunity uh, to work with you and Elliot or whoever else is involved because I had some specific thoughts about this ordinance um, one, uh, to make it so that this kind of technology can be made possible in Jamestown and make sure that it's up to snuff with industry standards, but then also uh, looking at it from a planning perspective, which is, you know, what we're charged with here. And there were some things inside the ordinance that I thought needed to be tightened up. 
not to make it harder for the technology to come in, but to make it so that the ordinance was clear and also so that the guidance for the planning commission is there because when we have to make decisions, you know, we've got to have something to hang our hat on. And I thought some of it, I, it, I don't think it would necessarily be considered arbitrary and capricious, but that some of it was getting close to that. There was really no guidance for the planning commission. So I, I have a lot of ideas about how we can make this better, but I want to do it in such a way that it doesn't discourage the industry. So it's a balancing act between the two. Um, you know, you guys can speak for the industry. You guys can speak for the technology. I like to think that I can speak for the planning perspective on uh, protecting the way the city looks while encouraging the technology is something that we need definitely to make happen here in Jamestown. I'm a little disappointed that the state doesn't want to seem to step up. Um, and we I, join, yeah, we I, join you there. Yeah, you're not responsible for that. Um, I just don't know what the problem is, but. I mean, the issue, it's, we, we've gotten into the executive's uh, budget proposal twice, um, 2018 and 20, I believe. Um, and, and, you know, it, it seemed that our executive wanted it in there. You never know, you know, closed doors, what, what the real agenda is. Um, yeah. But we, we couldn't get it through either either conference, uh, the Senate or the Assembly. And, and the one resounding message was local governments had weighed in and were very concerned about losing control, no, no matter how much we tried to advocate that that, that is not what that language did. Um, you know, NICOM weighed in against it. Um, you know, Association of Towns weighed in against it. Uh, I will tell you, though, you know, in, in 18... Uh, you know, some of those signatories from NICOM, uh, Schenectady Mayor McCarthy, uh, the Binghamton Mayor, uh, Yonkers Mayor Spano, were all signing on against it. And by 2020, uh, not only were they no longer signing on against it, we had actually uh, reached uh, MLA agreements with each of those cities. And, and you might recognize the name Gary McCarthy at the time in 18 uh, was the president of NICOM chair so uh after having an opportunity the only difference between 18 and 20 is verizon we got in front of him we got in front of his administration in front of the planning committee and and walk through you know what that language does and exactly what you're saying so so uh, mayor mccarthy you know sees this as a, a absolute backbone uh of of, of technology uh, in his community and, and growth, uh, jobs, uh, you know, emergency services, uh, and and he was willing to you know listen, and uh, he's more than willing to become a partner of ours. We're in that community now, building, uh, and they've got a very workable uh, MLA that that both parties are, are thrilled with. So, you know, I commend you for your comments of wanting to represent you know the city and get a workable. Uh, agreement in place, an ordinance in place that we feel in leaving the table like, hey, this is workable and we want to do business with Jamestown. You know, you've yeah. got to protect your business communities, your historic districts, your, your playgrounds and your school school zones. We respect that. And, and you know, I, I don't know, you know, this last go around, you know, we got into COVID and we thought we had some traction at, at, with the state language and, you know, a lot of stuff, to, you know, you just saw how it went out. It just kind of blew everything out and just passed a, you know, a very abbreviated uh, budget. So, you know, we'll keep trying. We'll go back uh, uh, here in January and see if we can't get it uh, into the uh, preliminary budget and, and try again because, you know, we'll run parallel, you know, with, with each of the communities we're currently working with, but it's still, there's, there's still over a thousand out there um, yeah. that will need, frankly, need um, this technology to, to, you know, to be, you know, a leader in the state. And I know you can't speak on behalf of NICOM, but can you briefly explain why they were weighing in against this at the state level? They, they you know, Peter Baines, they just, just a local control issue. Yeah, they, yeah. And, and, uh, yeah, and a lot of the state officials, assembly members and, and senators were former, you know, mayors and, yeah. and oh, councilmen. So they, they, you know, they, 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 you know, we get it as, as industry, they're going to listen to, you know, the, the, the local officials, you know, louder than they're going to listen to industry. 
And we just, you know, that first go around where we had a real, you know, crack at it in 18, we just couldn't convince enough uh, that the local control was not valid. They, you know, you could, you could say right now in that language, you know, it's a, it's a shot clock and that does frustrate uh, industry. We've got a couple of communities out there where we've got applications sitting out four years, make a decision, just say no, right. and tell us why, you know, within 60 days. And Hey, we don't like that because it's too close to the playground or Hey, we don't like that because it's on a street corner that's busy or, right. you know, that's right on the, you know, right across the street from our historic district. Would you consider moving it one block down? Glad to go back to the drawing board. And, and we just, we, I guess we weren't convincing enough. And so, you know, here, here we are back to, you know, local, uh, local municipalities. And as a former councilman, I understand um, the desire for local control and I've done stuff with Nikon people. So uh, they usually are pretty rational um, and I've worked with them on different things. So I understand their position too. And we do have our council liaison here, Councilman Nelson. Um, so um, I, I would still like to hear from other commission members, but I don't have a problem with tabling this. Um, but because I had some concerns about the way the sex part of the some of the sections in here, um, I, I just thought they were confusing and, and difficult for me, even as a planner with a legal background to follow. So um, I one of my perspectives is trying to clean this up a little bit in such a way as to keep, you know, our city the way we want it to look, but at the same time, encouraging industry. Um, so I certainly wouldn't object, but, but again, not that I want to create more work for myself, um, but I, I would be uh, happy to be involved with any working group um, in and around my teaching schedule so that we can get this to the point where we could all consent to it. Because at some point we have to make a recommendation to the council and then of course they have to adopt it. Uh, and so uh, the council is busy with more than enough stuff. I know that from my own experience. And to a certain extent on some of these issues, they rely on us as an appointed body to um, do some of that work so that they're in um, a good position to make a decision about this. So um, that would be my perspective. But um, I would, and I know that Mike's had a lot of detailed questions. And Mike, I think, I think with your permission, uh, we should share those questions that you raised with not only the commission, uh, but Elliot and uh, Verizon and anybody else who'd like to look at them. Because I think some of your questions were good, but they're very technical and we need to get some answers on those. So it would be another reason to table it. But, yep, share away. Okay, so one of the things I'm gonna recommend is that, it, uh, uh, that Ellen share those questions with people at some point um, because they're good and I, I think we need to address them, but they're certainly beyond my capability. I don't have that technical knowledge. Um, yeah, I can forward that. Okay, great. So uh, anybody else, before I get to the commission or council liaison, uh, Yanel, did you wanna to speak to us or? Did I pronounce your name correctly, by the way? Yes, yes, you did. Thank you, uh, okay. Greg. Uh, I don't have anything additional to say. Chip already covered all the bases. Uh, we'd be happy to address those technical questions that you have. Uh, I already provided, I think you mentioned that earlier, um, a package, if you will, um, of, regarding small cells. It provides an overview of uh, some of the technical aspects and deployment-related information. Nothing too technical, but uh, we'd be happy to take a look at those if, that questions that you have, Mike, and the rest of your colleagues have. And get back to you in a timely manner. And are you connected to Verizon as well, or? Yes, I, I work for Verizon, so uh, I cover the Buffalo and Jamestown area, basically. Okay. West and, Upstate New York. I'm in charge of that with the real estate network regulatory. Okay, and and just for the record, can you state your name and residential address, please? Yanel Yanel Kusiker, 100 Starboard Side Lane, Apartment 212, Webster, New York. Okay, great. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Um, so I guess at this point, I would turn it over to other commission members who might have uh, something to add or ask. I think w one of the things that I ran into in reading this was 
it's it seems like kind of like a big project, but you don't have hardly any information to understand just what is trying to be accomplished. And maybe I will try to look at things that aren't really defined, but I'm a little bit at a loss. What's are the you, result? Are you discuss? talking about the technology of 5G in general or? I think understanding that is kind of important to understand how it works in the community and what it's going to do. And I was looking at it beyond just the, the what do you might say, technical part, trying to understand the, the broad implications that might be there with this equipment and how it intends to be used. I didn't seem to find anything that really looked at those questions. Yeah, and I don't know if that would ever be addressed in the in the ordinance per se, but I think you got a point that I think because this technology is new, those of us who don't work in it probably just don't know enough about it. And I think in addition to working on the ordinance, one of the things that could be really helpful is to try to understand why this is so important for us to have it, what it can do for the city, what it can do for business. So, I tend to agree with I agree with that. It, th that's why I say it, it felt I might not understand all the technical things, but I probably would have uh, in, at least interest in knowing what the impact on people might be. Right, Chairman uh, Rat. Yeah, did, did the planning board received <laughs> the small cell wireless network and technology planning information package for Jamestown, New York, in August 2020. Uh, was that a question I got cut off, Ellie? Oh, I'm I'm sorry. Uh, right. Did I know you all mentioned earlier? There's a package I have in my office, and I'm not sure where I got it from, but I have it. Where um, it's the small cell wireless network technology and planning information package. I'm guessing there was some. It was lost in translation there. Uh, Elliot, uh, my colleague Chip actually emailed that uh, half an hour, 45 minutes before this uh, meeting. So there's an updated version of that he okay. just shared with this committee actually. So they can take a look at that. Obviously it was a little bit late, we apologize for that. And right. it's partially my fault, but uh, uh, that package that I provide, that we provided uh, will give you an overview of what Mr. Nelson was talking about. In fact, uh, a couple of my colleagues and I last week, Thursday, we gave a presentation at the APA American Planning Association's annual conference based in Albany. Obviously it had to be a virtual one so we covered a lot of the bases, although it's not the same presentation, but it has bits and pieces from that. So it should that that was sent to us just before maybe half an hour, 45 minutes. Yeah, I was just gonna say if if Ellen, is there a chance you could share it with with you know Mr. Nelson, Mr. Rob, everybody else on the committee? I didn't have everybody's email address. I can find yeah, them. It probably went to Ellen and yeah, I sent it, I sent it to sure Ellen and Elliot and Chris, this, uh, I think this is what you're referring to, right? I, I believe. Yeah, I, it's, oh, no. yeah, it's had that's some... that's that's the ordinance that you're showing, uh, you know, Mr. Nelson. The, we, the one that we're mentioning is a package. Is, is a, it's a basically a presentation. We're, that there you go. Oh, okay. that's one, but that, that's a that's the uh, dated one. That's when we met with the mayor. So the one that okay. I today was a slightly updated version of that. Okay. Yeah. So uh, it would be really helpful if all the commission got it and Councilman Nelson got it. Mm -hmm. uh, because I, I took the time to go through the ordinance, but I'd like to take the time to go through that presentation as well. Um, I did, uh, before I ask anybody else from the commission, did uh, Chip and you know, did you have a, a I, it seemed like you didn't have a real tight time frame, but are, how soon are you hoping that we can make the recommendation to the city council? Are you talking the December meeting, um, January mm -hmm. meeting? I, you know, I see we're more concerned with getting it um, workable uh, than speeding it through. So if, if it takes two okay. meetings because of the holidays, uh, we're okay with that. Um, you know, we're available uh, based on your guys' collective schedule. So if we can get it, you know, a couple meetings together and, and work through it and there aren't a lot of you know, big sticking points, which we don't feel there is, um, you know, we'll probably get it through one of the next two meetings. Uh, you know, Councilman Nelson, I think you'll find this document answers all the questions. We, we've presented this. Uh, and prepared it, you know, you know, custom to specific cities, but dozens of times. And it's, we always get a ton of great feedback. There's photos in there. It's, it's not a technical document. It's a layman's document to help explain what this is, what it does, why we think you need it. Um, and, and really, you know, provoke some thought as to 
what it will do, you know, where we work with and play. Okay, and I think that's what that's one of the things uh, we probably all need to help us have a better understanding of what this can do, in addition to working on getting the ordinance to the point where we would like it to be. Great. And I, if I look at my calendar, I think our December meeting is the 15th, the third Tuesday. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, I'm sure, I, I know we got the Thanksgiving holiday coming up, obviously, um, but maybe we could get some work done in time for that December 15 meeting. And, and again, you know, if you're not in a huge rush, I think in the long run, that's better because it gives us time to really think this through so that we can make a good recommendation to the council. And, and if we get, if we do a lot of the work and it, it'll make it easier on the council, then I that I'm trying to make it easy on the council, but. Well, <laughs> I would appreciate that. We're in the middle of a, a very difficult budget. So. Yes, to say the least. Um, <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. I, th th this is the time of year where I'm happy that I'm not, no longer. <laughs> yeah, I bet. I get to do the fun stuff. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Yeah, I would support tabling this. If it would give us all. Yeah, I don't think we need to make a formal uh, vote on tabling it. I think we want to revisit it uh, at the December meeting. We want to get that package out to people. Uh, I'd like to be involved with the working group uh, to see if we can come up with uh, the parts that I'm worried about that need to be uh, not tightened up so as to make it difficult to get it done, but tighten it up so that the planning commission is clear about what we're recommending to the city council. So uh, other commissioners may have uh, thoughts that they want to share with us. No, I think I'm good now when hearing that, but uh, just knowing more about the broader questions, if you will, or what surrounds this, it'd be nice to know. Yeah, and, and over the summer, I, I remember I had an opportunity to have kind of a long discussion uh, with Chris uh, Selstrom from the BPU staff. And at that point, I was asking him a lot of questions and he uh, also was giving me a lot of good answers. I mean, he's clearly another resource from the BPU because at that time I was talking to him from the BPU position rather than the planning commission position. Mm -hmm. That was good. But Mike mm -hmm. or Jeff Lehman did, or Regina, did you have anything you wanted to ask or add? Oh, I'm good. I'm good. Okay, thank you. Good. So I think, again, if I hear the sense of uh, my fellows correctly, um, we're okay in waiting on this. Mm -hmm. We want to see that package. Uh, Mike's questions are going to be shared with us. And Ellen, I would suggest, of course, not only sharing with the commission, but with Yanel and Chip, and of course, Elliot and, and uh, Jennifer and Chris, you know, just share with everybody who's here uh, because he asked a bunch of good questions that I think we all might be starting to ask questions about. And maybe the uh, folks in the industry can handle it better than we can. You know, no offense to us who, you know, Elliot said he was a, English major. <laughs> yeah, we're glad to take a look at it and, and you know, provide whether it's technical, RF, you know, as I, we've okay. probably gotten a question and answer that. All right. Well, I just sent that off, Greg. So. Oh, okay, great. Yeah. I'll add it to my reading, although I'm, <laughs> I, I'm trying to take part of Thanksgiving break off because teaching this way has been very difficult and challenging. <laughs> Everybody's exhausted, but uh, anybody else have a question or a comment? No. I think we have a plan in place and um, I, who's going to be responsible for trying to bring this working group together? Is that you, Elliot, or? Yeah, I, somehow I fell into this role <laughs> a couple months ago okay. and uh, I can get everyone to try to herd them together. Yeah, and I'd like to be part of the herd. Yeah. Um, the, the only thing that would get in my way would be classes, but um, you know, there's a lot of workability if that's a word around that. Okay. Yeah, and I'm willing to be part of it. Okay, right. Okay. Any, anybody want to bring anything else up? If 
not. Uh, can I ask for a motion to adjourn? So moved. Thank you. Moved by Mike. Can I have a second, please? Second. Seconded by Jeff. Any questions, comments, concerns, or discussion? Yeah. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, Tom. Oh. No, I said I, said, I think it's your birthday because I think we share the, the birthday. If I'm not mistaken, but. Is it your birthday today too? Yeah, it's yours too, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, happy birthday. Tom. Happy birthday. You too. <laughs> happy birthday. Obviously, you and I know how to have a good time. <laughs> <laughs> we got to the planning commission. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the, not. This is the way to celebrate, I guess. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna go home soon. Somebody asked me if I was gonna go home and drink some beer. I said yes. So. Sounds uh, like a plan. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so, all in favor of adjourning, please say aye. Aye. Any opposed? If not, we are adjourned. Thank you, everyone. See you soon. Thanks, everyone. Appreciate your time. Bye. Thank you again. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a good evening. Bye.